Alright guys, I haven't made a video in a while of my testing rig, so I'm going to be finally getting back into more originals. So, um, as you can see that one I'm having a little bit of trouble shooting with because, well you see it works without the ground wire, but the thing is like, it works on all speeds, but the thing is, is it will not turn off. I mean you can turn this, where you can turn it off by the, you know, the wall switch there, but whenever you try to pull, pull chain it just doesn't turn off at all. So I'm going to be trying to troubleshoot that somehow. But anyway, I'm going to show you the fan I'll be cleaning up. And I hope to get this all done. Hopefully by next month. All these fans. But, I'm testing them too. Here's the fan. Um, my dad brought this back out. My dad got this out of the garage last about a month ago now. So it's been a month since this fan has been in here, but... We'll probably be taking this down shortly. I'm probably I am going to test it, but just right now, not right now, because my, because just I don't want to right now. Just that way the power doesn't go out like right now. To, so I'll try to do that when I have a good time to do it. But anyways, so as you can see, I hope this one works. And as you can see, look look at the cap of it. It's like I don't know. If, I mean, and look on the inside too. It's not actually black it's a different color actually so it looks like some may have spray painted it or something but i don't know i mean this is the finish when it, what it has this is probably it's the original finish but uh i'm thinking about maybe painting like one of the originals and keeping them maybe like paint it white or something like that just i don't know i haven't decided yet but i'm thinking about maybe painting them white one of them white and keeping them and also i'm probably gonna be keeping great two originals for everybody because like they have both have different blade arms so, it doesn't have like those push blade arms if you see right there, but it's, it has um, different blade arms. I think, not these, but it has the blade arms, just a standard blade arm, kind of like, uh, kind of something like that. But, um, yeah, by the way, I did switch to like kids, the schoolhouse with the Harbor Breeze. I switched it out with the Harbor Breeze Baja like it's I test it, it does work. But let me see. In the box is uh, somewhere in my bed, but um here it is right there. Harbor Breeze Baja like it. I know it's sorry I haven't made a video in a while though, because you know I've been working on cleaning my room up and stuff like that. And also I've been working on my bookshelf a little bit because the back of it was coming off and I had some stuff on the floor for the last couple weeks, and I did went into the bathroom and swapped a couple fans and tried to make them a little bit more space, but it was not that. I can only make another space, at least. Now, I moved the Courtney in the back, and I'm probably going to be... I could probably be able to squeeze in her fan, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um... The thing is with the... Like, this is not the Hunter original pull chain right there, so this is, um... Basically, just... I got this pull chain, I think, at Lowe's, I think it was. Or was it Walmart? I'm not sure. One of the two. But, um... Um, the thing is, like, you know, I connected... I mean, because blue is supposed to go to one. Which I think it's for... High speed. And the two is supposed to be for medium speed. And purple is supposed to be... Where I think low. If I'm correct. But, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah, but you know, I connected like the exact same way as the numbers did on the pole chain here. And um, the black wire, the interesting thing about this black wire is actually connected on the back of the pole chain there. I wonder if it's supposed to go like more like right here. Because there's another hole right here. Where is it there? Oh, here it is. I think it, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's just the little space in there, you know. I don't see a clamp in there, but uh. But uh. I mean, I connected to, I connected to the exact numbers, but the black wire I had to put it in with that one. I'm wondering if that might be causing like to not like turn off. You know, I don't know what will happen if I disconnect the black wire because I don't know if it'll like trip the breaker or something like that. But I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some experimenting with this one. I don't know what the pole chain is, the original pole chain is. But, um. I don't want to look right now, but, um, I know that, like, the purple clamp, 
I kind of like this, so you know, when I was trying to get it out, not the, not this fan, but that one, and actually another fan too. Um, the clamp in there just kind of got stuck in between, and uh, I tried to get it back, but it's just it was kind of hard to do. So, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started taking this one apart. I actually kind of got to take it apart to see what the pull chain is, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and fix it up. Hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so I finally got the fan motor out. It was the road, the road, the rotor out. It was very hard to get out because I think there was so much sticky oil in there that it it really was really hard to get out. So it took a lot of time and longer than I expected. But I got it out anyways, and it really needs to be cleaned. Cause let's look at my hands. Like they're very dirty. So, and look at the rust, look at the paint that's starting to peel off. It's like, I don't know, I'm trying to decide maybe I should repaint it, maybe. But I'll think about it. I may not, but I'll probably maybe, I might paint it. I'm thinking about it, but I gotta clean all this up. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'll be right back and I'll get to the class and clean up. Alright guys, so I disconnected the purple wire, and now I'm going to go ahead and test it real quick. So I hope there's no power outage on any of this. So...
plug it in, let me plug it in so that way I don't have to switch out. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm. Let me see if I can get them on. It's the next day again, and um, so I talked with my father about about painting this is. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together, and then I'm going to test it, and um, and if it does work, we'll paint the rotor. If it does not work, we're not going to paint the motor, or the rotor, this part. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be going ahead and put this whole thing back together, and it looks like, I'm going to see inspect the wires on camera for you real quick. It doesn't look like, it doesn't show any bear, it just has some scratches on the wires. From like, you know, pulling the housing out. Well, it doesn't really look that bad. I don't know, I haven't can tell this, so I think... Doesn't look that bad. I don't think it doesn't look that too serious. I don't see any bear, but I don't think I see anything bear. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this back to cut. I'm going to look over this, and I'm going to go ahead and, and put this back together. Um, I'm going to inspect this a little bit more, and then I'll put this back together. When I put this back into the motor, it's kind of hard to turn it still. So I'm going to have to take this part and clean it again. Just look at this oil. Look, listen to the sound when I spin it. Okay, 
hear that faintly. See, it looks like it's never been oiled for a while, so it really does need to be cleaned again. I did add some oil in here to loosen up. I don't think that didn't work. It looks like it has not been used for a long time, so it really does need some oil. I put some oil in this early, but man, it looks it's still dark, and it's just like most of our rituals I'm putting them out, just one's great. I don't, I don't see why it's not, but it really does need some oil, so it really does need it. Yeah. We've got to clean this up too, so that's why I'm probably gonna have to go get a towel, anyways. It's a good cleaning. Alright guys, I'm back again. It's been a couple hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up real quick. Hopefully the that noise thing will go away. So let's get to it. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, sorry that I got cut out short though because I had a phone call with someone and um uh so I actually just finally put this back together. However, I do want to show you the wire that was actually when I was trying to put the switch cut back actually I think one of the wire kinda of like I could actually see a little bear so I have to tape that. And I also forgot to actually put the washer where the switch cup is. Like, you know, kind of like where the slot is. So I'm going to have to take this apart again. Not all the way apart. I'm not going to take the rotor out. But I'm going to be taking the switch cup off and putting this rotor on. So I'm going to be doing that time lapse here again. Alright guys, sorry. I'm sorry about that. My iPad died on me. And while I, while I was charging, I actually got that down on off of that brown original back there. Brown brass back there. I got fanfare about almost two years ago now at the Asheville fanfare. Uh, so the I know like someone commented me on YouTube and said about these down rods. You know, while you look know, it, it's like not supposed to be that for testing. So basically, what this means is like not do not ever use this for testing at all. I would don't because the reason why we actually got these down rods is because um we have. I don't know if you remember this video from a couple of years ago, almost two years ago, um, about the fans in the garage. The reason why we got the brackets because we need we um hung the fans on this little frame in the garage temporarily until I got these fans fixed and sold. But I have I have not actually put any fans up for sale yet, so I hope to do that whenever the next animation group trip comes, if there even is one. But uh. Anyways, also, I want to show you where the black wire, uh, wire actually had a little bit of the bear showing. It was more like around right here, this type of black wire. I mean, it might have been okay if I like just trim that off, because, you know, it, it's just the potion anyways. But I think it's best to lose some of the wire so that way it doesn't strip. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together now. And also, I didn't realize that the, I did not screw this nut on at all. So, I'm going to have to... Get this nut on nice and tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together now real quick. Alright, so I basically got this. I was actually I actually had the purple wire in the wrong hole, basically. But the problem is that I think sometimes this wire... Yeah, this wire is loose. And, like, sometimes it will stay in there, but I'm kind of afraid it will probably pull out again. And I hope 
I hope it'll still work. But... But, uh, yeah. It's like when it pull when you pull on it, it's like it's fine, but I'm just, sometimes it just doesn't like it. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna put this back together and hope it doesn't cause a spark when I test it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together real quick. Hmm. This wire is not actually. I don't know why that this wire is not. I don't know why this wire is not stripped. So let me strip it real quick. Because I think what they do, because like this blue thing, they didn't use a light for it. Because like none of the fans in the restart, when they were hooked up, had a light. So that's why it was not used. So I'm going to go ahead and strip this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this white wire on here. Alright guys, so the fan is D-O-N-E done. I hope this will work on all three speeds because I don't want that purple wire again, but... Oh, I think it should stay in there this time, so hopefully it will work. On three speeds, with or without the ground wire, whichever comes first. Anyways, I hope this works. Uh, I know this fan. Actually, I tried it. I tried it actually without the black wire, but that did not work because when I tried it all speeds, it just doesn't work. None of the speeds. But you know when to connect the black wire, because without the black wire, the speed none of the speeds work. So I think the black wire has to be connected for all the speeds to work. So I don't know. Yeah, I should just take it down and just put this one up, maybe tonight. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos to come.